1947. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Itself again, right? I don't know, man. I've been like smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? I need to get it to this dude, uh, Franco. Man, it, it broke. It's supposed to be in one piece when I deliver it over by some cave entrance behind pharmacy. But, you know, oh, That is P-Power, real name Paul Powers, celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. Hey, hey lady, I'm trying to make a Just phone call here. Buzz off, will ya? Ay, andate la mierda! You have to get me the hell out of here. I'm stuck in some tequila bar. Dex here. Dexie. You're Dexie. Okay. Dexie. You look like you're running Damn it, can you hear? Oh, Fine. damn music. Dexie, All hang right. on. I'm yeah. heading outside. No, yeah, Dexie. It's me. Look, I'm in real trouble here. Call me back, all right? about the Morenos. How they had 15 guys in lock up in Mala, and yet all of them walked two hours. Did you see the poster? Rico Delgado coming down to us dirty villages to unveil some people. Power guy, 
Manga man, I hope you don't mind, but we need to freeze you. I have to give you a pat down if you want to come through here, Marcelo. You're entering the lion's den, 47. Nah, Tread well, carefully. You know, just Practically everyone precaution. here is dangerous, not least Rico Delgado himself. Okay, All right, Mr. Bowen. Follow Go me ahead. to the house. Mrs. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. She'll take you to Rico afterwards. Uh, the celebrity tattoo guy is So here. famous tattoo artist, huh? I put some ink on skin as well in my time. Of course, most of that was in prison and not always on people who appreciated the work. You know how hard it is to tattoo traitor on a guy's forehead while he's squirming around on the ground like a wall? Not easy, let me tell you. Can't say that ever happened to me. I know. That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado oh for the God. past 11 years. I gotta be dead honest with you. I've got my ex-girlfriend Margarita's name tattooed on my groin. It's such and an I honor wanna to get a chance meet you. Something else. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart on the arm of the dead dying policeman while they're administrating CPR. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Ah, oh, see. So. Rico has this tattoo on his neck, and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico, let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Yay! Just look this way. Oh, okay, see, wow, we look so good together. This is great. Baby. Here's all. So, this is the famous P Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P Power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. Are you doing this just to annoy me, Kat? It's not every day we have celebrities visiting, you know? It's very distracting, Kitty Cat. Please stop now. I'm sorry that my social life is ruining your concentration. Whoa, hey! You need Rico, to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I've got this I wouldn't want to stab you. Two guys. You heard the man Catalina leave us One now. Move, lo vas a you hear me? Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Calm down, all right? Everything's okay here. Better safe than sorry, boss. You're making me nervous, Jose. Put that thing away. No way I'm letting my guard down around this stranger, Rico. So what are we waiting for, huh? I'm here, I'm ready. Get on with it. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, Cuevon. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it.
Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Thank you. 